Hello students, let's learn today angle bisector theorem from class 9th maths part 2 and then we will verify the property by using GeoGebra. Before that, let us understand what is angle bisector theorem. So the statement is every point on the bisector of an angle is equidistant from the sides of the angle. So let us illustrate this with the help of a diagram. Angle PQR is the angle given here and ray QS is the angle bisector of angle PQR and there is any point A on the ray QS. We have drawn here segment AB perpendicular to ray PQ and segment AC perpendicular to ray QR and now as these are the perpendiculars drawn on the two sides of angle that is PQ and QR, these are the distances of point A from the respective sides that is AB is the distance of point A from side PQ of angle PQR and AC is the distance of point A from side QR of angle PQR. So by this theorem we have that AB is congruent to AC that means point A is equidistant from both of these two sides of angle. That is point A is equidistant from side PQ and side QR. From this we can conclude that segment AB is congruent to segment AC. Now let us solve one example based on this one. So for this one the diagram is given and the question is in this figure point A is on the bisector of angle X, Y, Z. If AX is equal to 2 cm then find AZ. So as we can see in the diagram angle X, Y, Z is given and ray Y, A is the angle bisector of angle X, Y, Z. So ray Y, A is the angle bisector of angle X, Y, Z. We have just studied the property of angle bisector theorem that if there is any point on the angle bisector of a certain angle, it is equidistant from two sides of that angle. That means here point A is given on the angle bisector it must be equidistant from two sides of an angle that means a is equidistant from side xy and side yz of angle xyz so from that we can write ax is congruent with az that is ax is equal to az and this is by angle bisector theorem but here the length of ax is given to be 2 cm and as ax is equal to az the length of segment AZ must be also 2 cm. So this is how we can find length of segment AZ by using angle bisector theorem. Now let us verify this property by using the GeoGebra app. So let's move to GeoGebra app. So this is the GeoGebra interface. To verify the angle bisector theorem, first we have to draw an angle. So click on angle icon. Take any three points on this interface just to have this angle. Now we have to draw the sides of that angle so we'll take line icon and click on point A and point B. It is the first side of angle ABC then again click on point C and point B. We get these two sides of angle ABC. Now we have to draw its angle bisector. So for that we have here the icon angle bisector so click on that click on point A, B and C as we need the angle bisector of angle ABC. So this is angle bisector of angle ABC. Now we have to take any point on this angle bisector so take point D on this angle bisector. From this one we have to draw a perpendicular from both sides of angle. For that one, click on a perpendicular line, then click on point D and on side AB of angle ABC, we get this perpendicular from point D on side AB of angle ABC. Again, we have to draw a perpendicular from point D on side BC of angle ABC. So again, click on point D and on side BC we get a perpendicular from point D to side BC. Now we have to select these two points where 
this perpendicular intersect two sides of angle so let the point be e and f now we have to measure the lengths of segment de and segment df and we have to verify whether they are same or not so for that one we have an option distance or length so click on that click on point d and then on point e we get the length of segment de that is d is equal to 2.91 now we have to find the length of segment df in the same way we have selected here the icon distance or length click on point d and then on point f we get the distance df as 2.91 length of segment de is 2.91 and length of segment df is also 2.91 so here if we take any other point on this angle bisector it must be equidistant from two sides of that angle so this property is verified by using the geogebra app